Yo, what is up? <coughs> <coughs> Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Six Zero and welcome back to another episode of Grab the Ox. This is like what, episode six, I think? Yeah, no, I was, it was supposed to go up last week, but I had a lazy, complicated, not too good week, so that's why I didn't do it. Can't be out here making videos for y'all when I'm like low energy that you're gonna see it and it's just gonna be a horrible video. Let's get into um what was supposed to be last week's music. I hope I'm not too late with some of this stuff. And again, music is timeless, so it doesn't really matter. First up on the list we have Dysphoria and this track's called Possessioning did it with Kylie Kathka. <laughs> Number three on the list we have um, Rectangle, spelled like that. This track's called Rogue. What what can I say about Rectangle that's, it, that already isn't said enough on Twitter? This is a good producer. Shout out Titan Squad. But yeah, he's he knows his shit. I'm just gonna leave it there. necessarily listen to even though the name is really really cool like white katana you don't you don't get a cool name in that honestly let's be serious now white katana the only thing cooler sounding than white katana is clinics but that's just me though he's coming through with this track called eternal with a new is why am i why am i talking like this yeah this track is called eternal and he did it with boy anubis xii i think it's like what 12 x triple i so that's 13. i always wondered why why he has 13, yeah, I don't know. And then next up after that is, well, most probably be the first, yeah, this is actually the first South African SoundCloud account that I'm featuring on, the, on this list. And this guy is called um, Remy. He's a rapper, he's not a producer. And this dude's called um, Remy, this track's called Home, and he did it with Jovi, or Jove, Jove. I don't know how to pronounce that, I probably butchered it, but yeah, that's, that's the dude's. It's part of his mixtape, I just forgot, I think it's called The New Wave. Part of his New Wave EP or mixtape. I don't know the difference between like an EP or a mixtape. It's like EP, the mixtape that went to private school, and then mixtape is just, I don't, I don't know, but... Cold, I wrote in the winter phones I keep taking pictures of Time spent in December, but it's hard to remember Dope things, dope things Next, I'm really excited about this guy because Just like White Katana, he is also new But not unlike White Katana, I have never heard of him before Like he just showed up out of nowhere on like the Lunacy The Luna Collective EP that came out like two weeks ago It was the first time I've ever heard of those Boy! Boy, that, that's all I got. That's, that's legit all I got. It's just. It's lit. This track is called um, Kyle, and he did it with The Fusion. Shout out to both of these. Both of these people. Reason being is that because they're working on a, um, on an EP together and it's coming out real soon. North American summer, so it should be around. It's June now, so it should be out soon, like very very soon. And I'm like super super excited for this EP. Not as excited as I am for Wave Three, but that's a whole other topic that we'll probably never cover. Next up, Anubis is back with another track. Hey, that and this one's called Selenite. Um, right off the bat, it's not my favorite Anubis song. It didn't, it didn't hit me like Red Negative 60, but you know, you gotta give props, man. Dude, dude's really good at this shit. Really, really, really good shit. I even have more respect for him now, now that I heard him actually mixing like a DJ. And right after that, we got Feverkin. Um, I'm gonna give y'all a quick backstory about me and Feverkin. My very first YouTube video that I ever uploaded to this channel, like officially, the backtrack was Feverkin and Charisma. But I asked Feverkin since he was the one who owned the song, essentially. So yeah, this channel, this this channel right now started out with the Feverkin backtrack. Just some history, I guess you could say. I don't know, but 
It's not as shit that much job. This right here is the calendar project. So you know what? The we can do doing with this is every month you like put out one composition. And not just a composition, but also the making of that composi composition essentially. So you like you get the track on SoundCloud and then you get the video of how the track was made on YouTube. It's so it's such a cool, very, very dope concept. I really wish that I never stopped like producing music from like when I was younger, because I'd probably be on okay, not on this level. This is just talent and some other shit man fever game you, you you you're awesome your, your shit's dope i'm not gonna lie but yeah the calendar project we're on june now so expect them to drop something soon that's if you like what you hear from the calendar project so far and you want to hear more dope shit really like jazzy and alternative it's the best way i can describe it and it's it's chill vibes really really chill vibes next up after that we have See, this is a bit of a conundrum because in South Africa, the way that I'm thinking this guy's name is pronounced literally means no. Icon. That's no in Zulu. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. By the way, by the way he spelled it, it looks like Icon. And so I say Icon and it, it sounds weird in my head, but yeah. You got Icon with Turn My Back On You. And that's a very emotional vibe. Not just, not just from the title, but like the, the vibe itself from the track. Very, very get in your feelings, sort of. It's like the Bryson Tilly equivalent SoundCloud produces. If you don't count Hector Vey and Strangers collaborations from like back last year and shit. It's dope though. Next up, um, we got Win32. OG, been listening to him from Tang from Tang. And this track is called Lone Wolf. Um, released on like May 21st, I think. I can't remember exactly when. Yeah, shout out Win32. I also feel bad that I haven't featured him on in this playlist. No, I low-key feel like I shouldn't because he, he's got his shit down pat. He knows what the fuck he's doing, man. So yeah, shout out Win32. <laughs> track indeed i love it i've had it on repeat well i had it on repeat for like a, a good a good minute it's, it's, it's nice it's nice music after that we got the you saw radar radio mix that happened on may 22nd see what i mean by this was supposed to be out like two weeks ago i'm not joking yeah it's just it's just one of those things happen and this mix headlined by skit Wave love. headlined by skit and then you got Noah B, Wave Lab, Anubis, and Five Sons from the Netherlands. I actually didn't know the Five Sons was from the Netherlands. I was so surprised when Skit said that on the mix. That's pretty cool. But yeah, it's um, I think it's like two hours long, but it's fucking dope. Like there's just there's just something about hearing your favorite producers or some of your favorite producers mixing like DJs. It's like I don't know. It was a it was a treat to listen to, honestly speaking. Um, and I think I don't know if it was Noah B or Anubis who started with a Tokyo Vice like track like he started his whole mix with a Tokyo Vice track I was I was I was in a frenzy while listening to this mix dude it's just awesome I love it and next up after that we got Chrome Star in two minds now if you listen to the you soul mix closer like closer to the end of five sons set like way it's like past the two hour mark I think almost at like three hours um he mixes in the song um in two minds by Chrome Star but he doesn't keep it for that long which pisses me off because it's such a nice vibe honestly it's like <laughs> get if you mixed um house and wave that's that's what that's what chrome star did with this show that's what it sounds like to me it's like just like house and wave fused into one but that dash of electronic it's just i don't it's my ringtone okay let's put it that way this is uh, this that's just how much i love it. it it's my ringtone and last but not least continuing the tradition from actually the very first episode now that i've actually rewatched some of my shit of uh, featuring a track from a car video this time we got Halcyon. Yes, he's back. This is um, Deco. The funny, the nice thing, the interesting thing about this is that Deco specifically produced this track for the video. My in my very recent history of listening to Wave and then watching automotive cinematography on YouTube, it's the first time that I've ever seen like a producer produce a track specifically for a video and not release it on his SoundCloud before that or after. This track is still not on Deco SoundCloud. It's very need for speedy. 
Sixes. This has been another episode of Grab the Ox. Shout out to my water bottle. Drink more water. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay fun. Oh, wait, I forgot. Remember to like and subscribe. You know, subscribe to my channel. And the playlist is that. Ah, the playlist link will be in the description. Also at the end of the video with all the end cards things. Maybe in this corner, like the little square. Yeah, just click on that if you want to go directly to the to the track well to the playlist on soundcloud it will be public this time i know i have a habit of forgetting to unpublicize the playlist my bad i gen i like i genuinely forget but it will be public this time so you don't have to worry about that later guys